we are getting supper started in the crock pot. I'm gonna make Italian beef roast. Make us a ton. We absolutely love this recipe. I'll have the recipe linked down below for you guys. But you're normally gonna get a beef chuck roast for this. But my Kroger did not have any like whole beef chuck roast. All I could find was the, this beef chuck uh, roast steaks. And it's just where they've took, took a beef chuck roast and they've sliced it into steak pieces. So this is gonna work just the same. We're just gonna put all of these in here. So it's gonna seem like a lot, but I mean, technically it's not, it, they just sliced it. So I've got right at four pounds. And then all you're gonna need is some Italian seasoning. I have a little bit left in this packet, so I'm gonna use it. Um, just to get rid of it, because it wasn't much. But you're gonna go in with a whole pack of Italian. And just sprinkle it all on top. And then you're gonna go in with some banana peppers. I like to use the mild. If you like hot, we definitely get the hot. But we just like them. the mild ones. And then you're gonna pour in. Stand in there. I like to pour in about half the juice from the jar itself. I need a different fork. We'll just go in with this spoon. And then you can use however many banana peppers you like. I just kind of eyeball it. Just make sure that you don't touch your meat until you're done getting the banana peppers out of the jar because then you're cross-contaminating and that's a no-go. So. Then you're just going to put some water around the side. You're gonna get a ton of flavor from that Italian dressing and then from the banana peppers. If you want to, you can use beef broth if you want. I've always just used water and it, y'all, it always turns out just so amazing. Um, so I'm going to set this on low. We're gonna cook it low and slow so it gets nice and tender for a good eight to 10 hours. So for the next crock pot recipe, we're gonna be making some apple pie bread pudding. Y'all, this sounded so good. I'm kind of doing it across between two recipes. I'll have the main recipe that I'm using from Pinterest. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. But the, one of the recipes that I found, it called for just regular apples. And I'm gonna use, actually gonna use this apple pie filling in replacing of that. And then I'm only gonna be halving I'm gonna be making half a recipe because the made recipe called for two loaves of like a French bread, but I don't have any French bread. So I'm just gonna use this rustic potato bread because it's on its last leg. So I'm just gonna use it. And then, like I said, I'm gonna half the recipe since I've only got one loaf. Um, but you definitely want older bread. That's like I said, that's on its last leg. So it soaks up really good. Um, so we've got some milk, some cinnamon. This is brown sugar. We got some butter, we have our bread. We got the can of apple pie filling and then we've got some eggs over there. So we're just gonna kinda mix all this stuff together. I'll show you, of course, the process of how I put it in the crock pot and everything. And I'm super excited about this. So to start off, we're just gonna take our bread and we're gonna cut it up into cubes. You can tear it if you want. 
but I'm just gonna get this loaf all ready to go. I thawed this out from the freezer and we took it with us camping. We ended up only using a couple pieces of it. So I was like, I just need to make something with this. And you can't go wrong with a crock pot bread pudding. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm just gonna break it up and then just put it in this bowl to start off. So we got all that cut up. I'm just gonna set it to the side. And then we're gonna make our egg milk mixture. So since I'm halving it, I'm only gonna do a cup of milk. Then you're gonna need some cinnamon. Then you're gonna need four eggs. And you're just gonna Okay, so this is the one one of the things that I'm changing for this recipe. The recipe shows that you take half of your bread like this, put it in the bottom of your crock pot, pour some of the egg mixture, brown sugar mixture, which we'll do that in a second, and then you'll pour the rest of the egg mixture and do it in the crock pot. I'm gonna do it separate because I wanna make sure that all of my bread pieces get completely covered in the egg mixture. So I'm gonna do it separate just and that's just personal preference see if i had done that in a crock pot a lot of that would have still been dry and so doing it this way, I can move the pieces around and let it all soak in. So for the butter mixture, you're going to take um, like three-fourths cup of melted butter or softened butter. Then you're going to have some brown sugar and some cinnamon. And you're just going to mix that all together until it makes like a top, you know, like a gooey, gooey center. So I'm gonna go in with some of this butter mixture at the bottom. Like I said, I'm doing it different than how <clears throat> the recipe says and how to layer it. 
You don't have to use a crock pot liner. I just like using one for bready type things because it doesn't stick to the sides. And then you're just gonna take some of your breading, pop that in there. All these pieces are nice and soft. Then you're gonna go in with some of your apple. You can cut it up if you want. Use as little or as much. As you like. Some butter mixture. I'm going to try to push it down. You know, this could be breakfast or dessert. I'm telling you. <clears throat> and then we're just going to put the rest of this sugar mixture on top of here. And we're just going to put the lid on it and let it cook on low until it is all done. So our roast is done. I have just shredded it, as you see. It's super tender. It literally fell just right apart. If you ever have problems with your roast not falling apart, then they're just not cooked long enough. If you have time, put it on for a couple more hours. The longer, the better with roast because it's just gonna fall apart. So for these, how I serve these, is I get the hoagie buns, whatever kind you like and then we'll open these up and we'll put some of the roast and then provolone cheese and just serve it on a plate and that's it you can make a side honestly i'm not tonight just had a little hectic moment so i'm not going to worry about another side so this is dinner tonight and then i just shared or um i scooped some out for luke to have um, for work to cool down. He has to go in early, so I scooped him some out already, which y'all, so good. I already taste tested it. Amazing. So that will be dessert.
y'all this was the best bread pudding i have ever made i swear this was so delicious i'll have my version linked for you guys um i want to have it for reference for myself and then I want to share it with you guys because this was so delicious. But I hope you guys enjoyed this dinner and dessert crock pot video. I hope it gave you some inspiration to cook more for your family at home and use that crock pot because crock pots are amazing, y'all. But I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your week and I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.